Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mondari and today I'm watching Attack on Titan Season 2, Episode 2. Uh, last episode, we had Hanji question the priest uh, about why there was a titan inside the wall and uh, the guy didn't really give up any kind of uh, valuable information even though he was uh, hanging from the wall, he was ready to give up his life. Uh, uh, but we got some kind of confirmation like there might be other titans in the, all of the walls. Then we were uh, notified by a messenger that the titans had broke through, I think, uh, south south side of the second wall or something. And then we went back 12 hours uh, to a flashback. Mickey guy, the guy that has a really good sense of smell, he was watching all of the recruits uh, that was part of Eren's group, uh, the guy that... Uh, were training uh, together with Aaron, Annie, and the others. Uh, they're being uh, suspected uh, might, that there might be another uh, another one similar to Annie. And that's when the Titans uh, approach. That's where uh, Coney and the Potato Girls village are also at. So the recruits split it up uh, with uh, Mickey. Uh, Mickey stayed to. Uh, deal with the titans and the recruits and the soldiers went to warn the surrounding villages uh, trying to get them out of there and uh, Mickey was doing fine at first he took out like uh, three or four titans but later uh, another titan showed up a variant uh, it was like uh, orangutan uh, like beast creature like a monkey creature uh, I think uh, it was called the beast titan that, that's what the episode was titled and that titan threw uh, Mickey's horse at him uh, and then stopping the other titans uh, so it has titan commanding power as well from devouring him and then it started questioning uh, Mickey uh, Mickey was frozen didn't really answer and the titan seemed really inter intelligent like high intelligent it seemed like it was a commander type person and it was really interested in the omnidirectional 3D maneuver gear. And it took that and left. And then the other titans attacked Mickey and killed him. Uh, so my question is, where are these guys coming from? The human titans. Uh, is there other settlements outside of the walls? Uh, and do the governing body inside the walls know that? And are they invading this area for what? Human sustenance? Why, what is the reason? It seems like those guys really didn't, uh, at least that uh, the Beast Titan uh, didn't uh, come across the 3D maneuver gears before. It was so curious about it. They are probably going to try to subjugate them, invade them, who knows. I'm curious about that and I'm curious about if there are other human settlements. And what is the Titan ability? Is there some sort of curse, some sort of magical power? Or is there some sort of genetic genetic mutation? That's my questions right now. And that's about it for last episode. I really enjoyed it. I really glad to be back watching Attack on Titan again. Sorry about not posting for a month. And without further ado, let's jump into season two, episode two play. I am home. Episode twenty-seven. Six is getting notified. While Rose has been breached. Oh, yeah, that's a good question. That was a gate, yeah. This time they broke walls? The titans inside them? Or did the titans inside the wall break? Okay, so the walls are made of those. Yeah, that's what Hans is trying to figure out as well. Is it the same type of material? It is. He's <laughs> being threatened. Yeah. So what's the history behind it? I'm more curious now. Oh. 
れは今、怪我で役立つかもしれず、うっかり体に穴が開いちまうことがないようにします。Did they have a food shortage? Yeah. <laughs> She's like a feral animal. Just let her eat, said Peace. I guess. Yeah, the dad is still there. Oh, is that a titan? What? What's happening? The people eating other people. Are they titan? What the fuck is happening? Yeah, Sasha. I guess that was a smaller titan.、Uh, it's still annoying. It's in a daze. She doesn't have her special iron equipment. It just keeps on eating. She's gonna protect the kid. Is the kid also a titan or is she, the kid just terrified? The woman isn't screaming or anything. It means this is normal. Scared of the girl, I think. Oh, so they abandoned them.、Um, the titan showed up, that's why the bridge was drawn already. <laughs> Because she doesn't have that much of a social skills. <laughs> What's her name? She's really feisty. Yeah, she's really blunt. <laughs> If that thing starts running, the girl's dead eyes. Oh, so is Sasha gonna sacrifice herself? Oh, w e I didn't like Sasha. Hopefully, she wins. Oh, there's light back in the girl's eye. She's gonna try to stop it. They should have really taken their weapons with them. They shouldn't have just went out without it. It doesn't matter. It's just gonna keep going. Try to blind it, but how long is it gonna stay blind? I guess this is the one on the pretty low ranked. There might be more titans, we only saw this one. Oh, she's gonna stab it! Oh. Go away, go away, start moving, don't stay. It's gonna hug you, squeeze you. Oh god, 
You're gonna die now. No. Oh. Sasha's pretty strong as well. She's like wild beast herself. Oh, her dad. They found the girl. Uh, it's fine. Yeah. She helped someone else. She didn't only think about herself. Gone is village. Yeah, the Titans already attacked. Is there anyone here alive? Oh, is dead or alive? Dead? No, it's kind of stuck? But how? Did the beast titan land it? Did it fight with another titan? What happened? I'm so confused. It looks underdeveloped, but doesn't it? It looks like a child with the bone structure it has. Yeah, look at the bone structure. It's like a kid with the legs like that. Did it get made here? I'm thinking about the serum, titan serum that I think that Eren's dad gave Eren. The, the beast titan, huh? Did it do experiments on humans to turn them into titans? Because it, this thing looks underdeveloped. Uh, there are two ribs uh, poking out from the belly. And the entire body looks uh, malnourished. So it didn't get like developed and it's stuck. Is it one of Kony's siblings? This episode uh, gave us a few answers and a lot more questions, I think. And this is the opening with the sacrifice stuff, right? So, yeah, sacrifice to the devil, the fruit. So, we this episode we figured out, like, kind of figured out uh, Hanji was doing experiment to see if the Waltz crystal, the Waltz material that is made out of, is the same as the crystal that Annie has uh, enclosed herself in. And I think that was the case because she was shocked. And I mean, I was also thinking of the same theory. So that's the thing. And so and that with the ending song uh, that we see the sacrifice and stuff. So I, I say two possibilities. Uh, some sort of wars with other humans or other races. And they they made, they either enslaved people and turned them into titans uh, through magic or serum, science serum. I think the science films are new, uh, the one that uh, his dad made. So I think the it might have been some sort of sacrifice ritual, uh, dark magic. Who knows? Uh, to make the uh, make the material for the walls, and then as a backlash, the other titans were also made or was cursed uh, with the mindless titan. Uh, some of those humans were able to flee, and that's why there are probably other settlements with. Uh, intelligent titans slash human hybrids let's clear up that theory one more time the normal titans the the ones that are mindless just eats humans uh, doesn't care those guys were already a thing some sort of curse some sort of back backlash that happened and the humans that needed to escape all of the humans that escaped uh, to build a settlement of the walls the three walls those guys figured out somehow to make titans themselves they used People as sacrifices, as slaves, or just people they captured and, some, and uh, turned those guys into uh, the wall material so they could make the walls. Otherwise, how could they find all of the materials to make the walls so fast? Uh, the mindless zombie titans were approaching. So uh, that's when they made the human experiment or sacrifices to make the walls and some of those humans that got the titan powers were able to escape and they created other settlements created them and the descendants that are now showing up are like the beast titan are those guys that's my theory right now uh, i don't know how much that that's gonna change as the show progresses and uh, sasa's personality uh she was 
up for herself out for her own traditions uh same thing the ancestor thing that is that was they were talking about living the same way and then her father wanted to help the other people uh, arm them with horses and stuff and tells and asks sasha if you don't help out people if you don't socialize with others uh, will they help you out when uh, when they are desperate when the tyrants attack so don't expect their help either so that's what probably motivated her to join the military the scout corp and just in 3 years they made a entire village interesting episode let me know what your thoughts on it uh, don't spoil anything uh and if you guys enjoy the video make sure to like and subscribe help me reach 1000 subscribers that would be much appreciated and i'll see you guys next week for more at account titan goodbye